And Ms. Crockett is recognized for five minutes. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to pick up right where Representative Connolly left off. Uh, out of curiosity, do either one of you know the definition of insanity? I think you're referring to uh, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Oh, okay. That's exactly what I was referring to. And it sounds like that is what this party is good at. But um, I want to talk about the theme of the day. Commissioner, you have said over and over and over the word complicated. I was not keeping a tally, but you said it a lot. So I want to work with this word a little bit. I have a list of items. I would like for you to let me know if you believe they are complicated or not. Tax returns. Complicated. Operating the IRS without proper investment. Complicated. Recruiting workers in this antagonistic environment. Complicated. Auditing millionaires and billionaires. Complicated. Okay, so it sounds like you've got a complicated job. I do. And it also sounds like you have to know something about math. My colleague brought that up as well. Um, it sounds like you need to be at least somewhat decent at counting to be with the IRS. Yes, yes. you'd agree? Okay. I'd agree. It, you know, it's so weird because my colleagues on the other side of the aisle wanted to call uh, this hearing. This is not our first. It's not our second. I, I've actually lost count myself of how many IRS hearings we're having, and they seemingly feel like they can fix your very complicated issues. But somehow they aren't good at simple math, simple math that would get them to a speaker, you know, like the right. So we've been three weeks without one. Let me ask you another question that may be another one of these when the math ain't math in situations. Um, there was a looming government shutdown a few weeks ago. And interestingly enough, uh, when I do the math, approximately a little bit more than 60% of the people that sit on this committee actually voted to shut us down. Now, out of curiosity, for everyone that claims to care about their constituents, do you think it's easier or more difficult to operate as the IRS when, say, there's a shutdown? It is very disruptive to our operations. Very disruptive. Let me give you another number that is very concerning to me. That number is 24. 24 represents the number of days that we have before the continuing resolution that 60% of, and when I say my colleagues, I'm talking about across the aisle, not on this side. We were about at 100%. Actually, we were 100% on this committee that voted to make sure that the government did not shut down. But if in 24 days we don't have a speaker because they can't figure out their math and we shut down, is that going to help you answer more phone calls or less phone calls? A lot less. Oh, okay. All right. So it sounds like we have a lot of performative politics that is taking place because yet another number that was mentioned, and I believe you brought this number up, was $540 billion. You also talked about appropriations, and you talked about the fact, and, and I want to be clear about this $540 billion. This $540 billion is a net number, correct? This is not a net zero, like it's going to cost $540 to go get it, and that's how much we're going to get. We're talking about netting $540 billion, it's correct? $540 billion, we, I would say we're on track uh, under current course and speed to get about seventy dollars back. So our hope is we'll be at four seventy. dollars But, yeah, it's $470 billion, which is what's owed versus what's paid. Okay. Very good. How is it that the American people should believe that the majority party has the ability to solve your complex issues when, number one, they don't pay attention to history, which was defunding this organization has not helped their constituents but hurt their constituents? And let me add to that. The last time I checked, America is growing. So you were defunding your organization as we were ending up with more people, which means that you have more work, correct? Correct. More population, more filers, more changes to the tax code, and more complexity in how the economy operates. 
2010, when our budget reduction started, we never heard of PayPal, Venmo, all these you know, payment platforms. The gig economy changes, and it's great, but we have to invest and be ready to be effective tax administrators as the world changes. That's why it's important to keep our funding at pace. I agree, and as the child of an IRS worker, I absolutely want to thank you for what you do, and obviously, I always must send love to my mama. I thank her for what she does for the American people as well. I'll yield back. Gentlewoman yields back her time. The distinguished gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Tim, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's been over a month since the House Oversight Committee launched our impeachment inquiry.